Yep, it's that time of the year again. We've cracked out the LC475 and we are giving it a, just a triple check on a processor, which is, um, it's a 68040. However, it does not have an FPU, making it an LC. Now it was sold to me as a, it's counterfeit, it's fake, uh, as you might have seen in my previous videos. But I was just trying to find a way to test it more accurately than System Profile, uh, in case the system software had a requirement uh, for a system enabler or something along those lines. So I did some Googling, came across a program called uh, Tattletech. Let's just open somewhere. And it's quite useful, it gives you quite a bit of information. Now at the moment I've got the jumper set, so it's a quadra instead of an LC. But, scrolling through, you've got general hardware, which gives you a whole bunch of different things, after CPUs. So at the moment, this uh, main board does have the overclock enabled for 33 megahertz instead of 25. Uh, scroll down a little bit. FPU, none. Uh, it's unfortunate because I dropped a bit of money on that. And of course, time has passed. Things have unfortunately not gone in my favor. So in the meantime, I'm going to try and get my hands on a test 040 with an FPU just to make sure it does work in here. And then I'm going to throw this processor in the bin. That's not true. I'm going to keep it or give it to someone. Here's the one I've been using, which is the uh, it's an XC, so it should run a bit hotter than the uh, MC version. So uh, that's a lesson too, don't buy things on eBay. This heatsink is just temporary. It's not really attached, it's not very warm either. Um, yeah, so there you go. There's just a close up of the chip. Too good to be true. So if you think your chip's faulty, dispute it. Stupid fraudulent eBay sellers. Stupid me for... It's too good to be true, and it was. So that's that. There'll be more videos in the future on this. Uh, actually, stay tuned, I'm gonna have a fiddle around with the uh, 8 gig compact flash card and the 2 gig that I've got here. There is the 2 gig in there at the moment. So I'll be having a bit of a tinker with that. See if we can uh, get it to recognize the 8 or if it is a limitation of the actual reader itself.